Recent studies led by the American social psychologist Adam Galinsky has proven that what we wear has a measurable influence on our overall well-being. By putting on our clothes, we simply become who we are, is something that he has said. Fashion and styling might be superficial in many people's eyes, but it's actually anything but. So that's why I love being a style coach. That's why I love what I do. Being able to work with creative things such as fashion and styling, and then combining that with working with people. So to be able to dress yourself to more well-being through a well-curated wardrobe, I also find it important to keep your wardrobe uncluttered so that you're not only able to find your favorite wardrobe pieces, those gems within your wardrobe, but also to keep it inspiring so that you want to wear what you have over and over again. So in today's video, I wanted to share five tips on how to keep your wardrobe uncluttered and inspiring so that with whatever events you may have in your daily life, you can always turn up as the best version of yourself. So I've actually got a whole separate video on how to declutter your wardrobe, how to decide which items spark joy, as Marie Kondo would have put it, um, how to decide whether to keep or to get rid of something. So in case you'd like to go watch that video, I will link it right here for you and down below because it's quite a longer process. Basically, I will say when it comes to decluttering, the focus shouldn't be on getting rid of stuff and it shouldn't be something you have to do seasonally or many times throughout the year. So the closet declutter should be looked at as something that you do um, and you might have to do a couple of times to really get it under your skin, but something that you do to become a better consumer and not something you just you should strive to do every season because you just keep on adding on to your wardrobe. So it's not something you do every season to make room for tons of new clothing. So keeping your wardrobe rather light is beneficial in many ways and I'm not going to put a number on it here it's something people often ask me how many items do you have in your wardrobe how many items do you have in your capsule wardrobes it's not important how many items you have it can look very very different from person to person it's an individual matter as I've said many times before some people might have 25 items in their wardrobes some people have 50 it's so individual so what I mean by keeping it light is to be able to actually see what you have in your wardrobe so nothing gets lost within your wardrobe and also that you actually have a chance to wear what you have in your wardrobe. As many of you guys know by now and something I've also said many times, one of the most sustainable things you can do when it comes to sustainable style and fashion is to wear what you already have. So you really want to be able to see what you have inside of your wardrobe so that you can wear it over and over again. So again, a sign of having too much clothing could be that you have so much that you simply forget about items that you have in your wardrobe. Items might get lost in the back of your wardrobe or in the bottom of like a, a pile of clothing. So either that could be a sign of having too much or simply that you need to sort of reorganize and restructure your wardrobe. If you don't have room for everything in your wardrobe all at once, I would highly recommend trying out a capsule wardrobe. Now the capsule wardrobe is something I've been doing for six years now and something I absolutely love myself. A capsule wardrobe in a nutshell is a wardrobe where you only keep the things in your wardrobe that you can actually wear right now. So you take out everything that's not in season or anything that you sort of need a break from so that again, you only have the things that you can actually wear right now hanging in your wardrobe. So it's perfect both for people with a larger wardrobe, I would say, because again, you want to wear what you actually have, but it's also really convenient for people who might have a smaller closet. Speaking of wardrobe space, finding a spot for everything inside of your wardrobe is really important as well, I think. That way your clothes are, of course, easier to find every day, but they're also easier to put back into your wardrobe after you've used them. I like to look at my wardrobe as my own little favorite shop that I get to shop in each and every day when I build my outfits. So, you know, find a way to structure your wardrobe so that makes sense to you in your daily life and all of the activities you have in your life. Personally, I really like to part my wardrobe into everyday basics. Um, I keep my occasion wear another, you know, in another drawer in my wardrobe, keep my loungewear in a separate drawer as well. So I really like to separate everything that I have like that into different categories so that it fits my everyday life. Some people find it easier or more fun to keep everything in 
um, you know, style categories. So having all of your shirts, then all of your trousers, all of your dresses like hanging all at once and just mixed with occasion wear, whatever it might be. Um, even though I've like parted everything into these categories and tried to divide it, it's not like I can't wear my occasion wear together with my everyday wear if I feel like that. I just like to part it like that because what I tend to reach for most are obviously my everyday basics. So they are like the biggest part of, of you know, like the visible part of my wardrobe and then other things such as loungewear and occasion wear are sort of more hidden into drawers because I don't use that nearly as much. So I recently shared a video where I reorganized my capsule wardrobe in case you want to tag along in that process. I'll link it right here. It's in a vlog style, super down to earth. Um, very hands-on, could be inspiring for you if you're starting yourself with um, organizing your own wardrobe. This is something I said many times before, so it might sound like a broken record to some of you, but basically what I like to do with my everyday wear at least is to keep everything on hangers because again, you know, I can see everything that I have within my wardrobe and things stay in shape. A good hanger is definitely really important and I know that some people are definitely not keen on these very thin wire hangers that I use in my own wardrobe. I've never had any issues with them, but they can tend to like spike out on your clothing and leave marks at the shoulders. Um, but you know, if you steam your clothes before you wear them, or if you just make sure to find a good wire hanger, you should be good to go. Like I said, I've never really had any issues, but otherwise a good like wooden hanger is something a bit more sturdy and a bit more like rounded at the edges you probably won't have that issue with like spikes on your shoulders. So if you're looking for new hangers, then maybe that's something you should go for as well. I love the fact that when I've washed my clothes, I can just pop them directly onto the hanger and then back into my wardrobe. And you know, it sort of limits the need for steaming and ironing my clothes. Obviously some items need to be steamed, like this silk shirt, for example, um, after washing it, but it really limits the amount of time I need to spend on steaming my like my wardrobe items. I also recently bought these uh, trouser hangers, which I am so happy about. I used to have all of my jeans and trousers just folded into a drawer. But again, this is just a much nicer way for me to be able to see what I actually have when it comes to bottoms. When it comes to jewelry, I have these two trays from Ikea that I bought a while back and they just fit perfectly on this shelf. Great for keeping all of your favorite jewelry and watches, belts, even sunglasses on display and to make sure that nothing gets tangled. So many wardrobes have these small like holes within them along the sides so that you're able to like sort of customize it and move shelves around. Um, and if you find a good hook that you can fit into one of those holes, it's a great way to, to store your jewelry or your necklaces at least. Organization cubes is another thing I wanted to mention. Again, this is something that you can get in Ikea. Um, I have some in my own wardrobe that we've had for years. And it's just a really great way to keep things separated within your wardrobe, especially when it comes to like your socks and undies drawers. So like keeping your bras in one cube, your socks in another cube, like sort of separating everything and making sure that it stays tidy and organized all times. It's also really, you know, great to keep smaller bits and bobs in these sort of cubes. Things as, you know, wardrobe care tools or sports bras, extra hangers, like any small bits and bobs like that you want to keep in place. Finally, I wanted to share just a few of my favorite wardrobe care essentials. So we're speaking tools here. And like basically with any of the other tips I've mentioned, I do have a separate like full guide on wardrobe care as well. So in case you want to watch that, I will link it down below for you. Um, I think there are 10 tips on wardrobe care and how you should care for your wardrobe to make it last. But in this video, I just wanted to, to share like some really handy tools that you can use every day. So my hand steamer is definitely something I cannot live without. I actually have two hand steamers. I have um, a purple one from a brand, which I can't really remember, but I'll put it in the cutaways here. Um, I bought it in a Danish, like a local shop. Practical, great size, great for traveling. Um, I also have one from Steamery in this really like funky mint green color, but I just like the purple one a little bit more because you can actually put a little bit more water into that one so it doesn't run out nearly as quickly, but they're both equally good. Um, so basically a good hand steamer is something I can't live without. You can use it on pretty much everything. Something else I really love about a steamer is that you can use it on items that you can't just pop into the washing machine because it actually kills 
0.5% of all bacteria, I think I read somewhere. I'll link the article down below. Um, so a great tool for also keeping your, your things clean between washes or at least kill bacteria. And also you don't need to faff around with an ironing board. You can just keep most of your clothing directly on the hanger and you just steam right away and then you're ready to go. My fabric shaver is something that I bought recently and it has become a wardrobe care essential for me. I cannot live without that fabric shaver. I used to just use those little like um, cashmere combs that you can buy a bit more like it takes a bit more time and it's a bit less effective I find but you know it's great for more delicate knitwear for example but that fabric shaver is something I cannot live without today. Um, I have one from Steamery and I love it. It's a bit pricey but again I love the design of it. I love that Steamery really takes you know aesthetics into into consideration like that and I find that when you remember to use the little brush that it comes with and remove all of like the bubbles properly between um, uses or every time you've used it, it stays super effective. So just remember to do that, remove all of the bubbles properly before you carry on with like the next item that you want to debubble. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what it does. It removes bubbles from like wool jumpers, wool coats or anything that has a tendency to collect bubbles. Um, another thing that I really love about this one from Steamery is that it is rechargeable so you don't need to buy disposable batteries. A reusable lint remover and fabric brushes are something else that you might want to invest in as well. You know, a reusable lint remover might be um, a bit more expensive upfront than those uh, disposable ones, but you know, in the long run, you don't need to buy sticky tape and refills. So it will eventually come around to be a cheaper kind of product. So they can be washed and reused over and over again. Um, we have a set with this like reusable lint remover that came with that one and then a smaller one which is great for traveling or just keeping in your handbag um, especially if you're wearing wool trousers or anything that has a tendency to collect fuss and little hairs it's just super annoying so um, this is a really effective tool and definitely for me having two pets I both have a cat and a dog it is something I cannot live without. So lastly, a shoehorn is something else I would highly recommend you guys to invest in, either like a full-size one to have in your like hallway where you put on your shoes or a small one that you can also take with you for traveling, for example, or just if you're somewhere that you need to take off your shoes and you need to be able to put them on again, it's very easy to keep in your handbag. So a shoehorn not only allows you to put on your shoes more conveniently because you don't have to bend down. I was pregnant last year and I couldn't have done without my shoehorn, basically. <laughs> But it of course also protects the heel counter of your shoes, like the back of your shoes from crushing when you put on your shoes. So again, it's a great way to not only conveniently put on your shoes, but also to actually protect the look of your shoes. So when it comes to wardrobe care, try to make it a rule of thumb to either like schedule a day every month or every other week where you sort of care for your wardrobe items like this, or maybe do it every time you've worn them before you put them back into your wardrobe, just like put them on your bed, wait, with putting, putting them back until you've like cleaned them or steamed them or whatever. So that is ready for another round of use and wear. Um, and just so that you feel like reaching for them over and over again. There's nothing more annoying than, you know, if you're busy one morning and you really want to wear that dress, but it's super creased and you know, then you won't wear it. So just make sure to, to care for your favorite pieces in your wardrobe like this. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. I would love to have you guys around. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending a bit of your time with me here today. Take care and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.